Hey everyone, it's Mackenzie Skeels. For this video, I decided to take a closer look at women in agriculture and how our roles across the globe vary. I thought, who better to talk about women in agriculture than a woman in agriculture? Brenda Shep. In 2012, Brenda was a recipient of the Nuffield Scholarship in Canada. So the Nuffield Scholarship is actually numerous scholarships awarded to people with a passion for agriculture. It's a travel -y kind of scholarship where recipients travel to learn and research. Recipients can come from any field of agriculture, including livestock, grain, vegetable production, forestry, horticulture, and may have a variety of roles within the industry. Brenda chose to write her report on the development of mentorship programs for women in agriculture and got to travel the world studying the topic. Starting off, Brenda gave me her definition of gender equality, which is... Standing up for the excellence of each other. That, that means that regardless of our role within agriculture, within the family farm, within media, that we stand up for the excellence of each other. And I continue to mentor women around the world and I continue to, to always address or talk about the issue of agriculture and the opportunities and the empowerment of women within it. Women's roles in agriculture vary depending on what part of the world they're in. The trick is not assuming that women everywhere have the same relative advantages that women here in Canada do. My role within an agricultural business is that of an equal. I can do whatever I want within that business. Specific cultures will limit that uh, as they, women may be the farmers but may not own the land. So land ownership is a really big issue. And I think if we take a look at the opportunities of women across cultures or where the differences are, it actually is in that uh, land ownership and the access to land so that they have continuity in what it is that they want to do. So land ownership here is limited by access to capital and so is it in other places but it might also be limited by culture in which land ownership is not permissible for women. So here in Canada, women are more likely to be seen as equals, while in other parts of the world, sometimes not so much. As a woman in agriculture here in Canada, I have the ability to own my own land. In fact, I already do. And in my experience, it doesn't really matter your age or gender in Canada. Anyone can own land and run their own business. And that's awesome. Obviously, farming and ranching is different in other countries than it is here. But along with those differences come quite a few similarities, as Brenda found in her travels. I've been in the Andes and watched them walk behind their oxen with, um, uh, in that deep red soil, putting in potatoes and, and little tiny pieces of equipment all over the world. Um, lack of refrigeration, lack of transportation, lack of infrastructure kind of exists all over. In Canada, we have a sense of space and availability and mobility, and that isn't always the case in other places of the world. You can hear this deep sense of perspective when Brenda talks about her travels. I can tell you from first-hand experiences that seeing other parts of the world really does expand your point of view. I've had the privilege to see lots of the US, Australia, Croatia, Italy, Cuba, you learn a lot about yourself when travel motivates some self-reflection. The most rewarding experience to me is always uh, my interaction with people, the sharing of stories, the crossing the boundaries of culture and language, and just that feeling of understanding that we share in agriculture. Farming itself doesn't have a border. Uh, it doesn't have a class border. It doesn't have a caste border. It doesn't have a political border. Farming itself is universal. We speak a universal language. And so the most rewarding experiences were those where I interacted with people, especially if there was transformation in their lives. I learned a lot about myself. I learned a lot about um, stretching my mind. I, I learned to be culturally adaptive. I, I learned that regardless of where we go, we all have our stories and our wants and our needs and our desires. And I learned that agriculture is, um, as many people in many countries said, ag is sexy. And it's just um, a super place to, to have a, a life, a living and a career. 
So after her Nuffield travels, Brenda continues to work in agriculture, mentoring individuals, and helping people develop a better global understanding. I see her as an inspiration for myself and just women in general. If you would like to read her report, you can go check that out in the link in the description. Thanks for watching.